welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I have been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself. But I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned, I felt. I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sighed a wolf cup, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. To overcome an inner fear and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? I heard a prophecy. Warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time. And the Nornir, he warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream is faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. You're a fast learner. Nothing more today. I'll see you later, friend. Until next time. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it.
Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Efren Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed. I need your eyes, my friend. Generous one. Let's go. Let's hear a story. My favorite part of any battle. You must row in these waters. Run up for Fear. the rail. Everyone has their ritual in that flutter of anticipation. Our hearts race. Zoma would visit the children of the camp. We count an old myth like a wise scald. She filled those little ones with courage. She knew they desired a chance to fight in great battles. One day. And if we did not win, they would not have their chance. Once I followed her on this ritual and watched her speak. To keep things fun, she often mixed up the old myths. Then Freya rode her cat through Elfheim, tearing up the dark elves in search of the need of poetry. Monastery, Those little eyes. 
children's faces. A flame. Enamored. I saw myself as one of them. I felt one so there, much Avon. better. Soma has that way with people. She has that way with me. She need only tell a story or two, and the war is already won. <laughs> Drop them out!
Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself, and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me, for I have sinned. Vörmöð, brjóta eitthvað!
Finn und dir, Griepan. harvest again this fall. The Britons burned me crops. Aye. It'll be a long, pitiful winter. God will punish the Britons for this war. They'll burn in the fires of hell. They it's will. The hate that we... isn't it, Excuse me. You Britain's got no cause to truck with us. We don't know this is nothing but a stinking pile of sheep dung. This isn't your fight, James. Go back to the sea. You come over here and say that. Come on, take a swing at me, a good swing. Your sorry king wants this.
you've had nothing for days. Nettle and turnips. That. It's all Same I could find. And it smells good, that. There you go, young man. Curse this war. Come on, boy. Thank you. Oh, you wouldn't stop it. <laughs> Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my boss. Evo, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get too quiet, I throw daggers. <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future eldermen, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, uh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, all of you! Captain Aneel, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Chaelbeth, 
the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Cheowulf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. You are wasting time! Ivar! Lock the doors, merchant that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would I quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. You are wasting time! Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotary, and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I'll consider your words. Talk, you talk, are with Rodri, yes? We do One of talk. his advisors. I am that. Anir Apkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Hmm. Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. 
Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother and you'll rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I should report what I know to Bishop Deolov. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Rodri's brother. We used the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat, no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Spill your legs. Biggie What have you done? The this is your mistake. It's Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Goriad won't need the silver now. Rotary's fled! Ah! 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 
Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Ivar. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will crave them. <sighs> you murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Wesbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. 
One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. <laughs>